Hello Capricorn, this is Lisa with Inspired Heart Intuitive here for your weekly reading for July 15th through the 21st of 2018. Here at this channel, we are here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Now, this is general, sun, moon and rising. So if the shoe don't fit, boo, don't try to keep putting it on. Go to your moon, go to your rising sign and check those out and see if those resonates, resonate a little bit better. This is general. So there's thousands and thousands of people that are going to see this. So, you know, that's okay. I'm sure it's something in here to help you out. All right, here we go. We're going to get started here. Oh, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and that bell button so that you know when I'm putting up new content or I'm going live, which is quite often these days. Coming in to this week, the Knight of Pentacles in the upright cap. Good energy, good earth energy for you. You're moving forward at an even, comfortable pace. Um, getting your coin together, taking care of the house, taking care of stability, taking care of the home. Awesome card for you. Love, love, love. So I think that's great energy coming in. What you're bringing to the table is this four of wands in the upright. So if you have your eye on someone, this could mean that you're wanting to move towards, you know, a bit of a commitment. Or this could also be that there's a good partnership a, um, shall we say, business partnership that is on the horizon for you as well. That it's going to be fruitful and then it's going to be very meaningful and it's just, it's going to feel right to you. What could potentially be your um, obstacle? The hermit right there, okay, in the upright. So, you know, this is... Um, this is a Virgo energy, however, Libra energy, Virgo energy. However, okay, like try not to go back and be a little bit more withdrawn. Like try not to stay in your head about whatever this is, this decision. This week, just try not to stay in your head too much. Try not to be too much of a recluse, okay? Don't overthink things. Now, don't get analysis paralysis. What's going to help you? It's card of cancer, my favorite. Um, what's going to help you here is going to be that forward movement. So rapid forward movement is going to really be of key use to you this week. Okay. And then potential outcome, eight of wands in the upright. So when I say rapid forward movement, I mean, just make a decision, right? Like that. Don't go off the deep end and like start like quit a job and start a new one, all that kind of craziness. But what I mean is you'll be able to go in and make a decision and make it very quickly as long as you don't stay in your head. And then you're going to start seeing forward movement with this Eight of Wands here in the upright. So let's just get a little clarification on this Knight of Pentacles first, please. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in the upright? Why is the Knight? Something you've been hoping for with the Star card in the upright is actually coming to fruition. Like you have a lot of hope and there's a lot of like joy surrounding um, this new venture that you're going towards. And, and I really feel that very strongly that because you're going towards it in a very methodical fashion, it's really going to bear very good, great fruit. Whether this is a relationship or this is, you know, um, an entrepreneurial or a, new, a, or a new job, a new house, moving to a new state, whatever that might be, there's a lot of truth. And this is really, you're going to see a lot of great forward, um, the start of a really good conversation surrounding it and this is really living your truth so why is this four of wands here please yeah there's a brand brand new this is a good like cap i've not seen this good of a reading for you in a while i feel like if it's not love in the air like you're about to really make a very um your finances are about to really explode in a great way um a lot of fresh start, new start, good stuff happening for you. Um, and that people are coming alongside of you and partnering with you that are just amazing and very supportive and very good for you. Yeah, you're coming out of this time. You know, you're just coming out of being going, going through this deep betrayal and everything. Um, still not quite ready to cut everybody out, but I think that you're sensing that this person that's coming in with this four of wands energy doesn't need to be cut out. That they actually are come bearing good tidings, good gifts. They don't mean any harm to you. 
it all. So let's find out why the Hermit is here in the Upright, please. Why is the Hermit here? In the Upright, please. Why is the Hermit here? In the Upright, why is the Hermit here? All right, one more shuffle. Why is the Hermit here? Yeah, because you're kind of like, so there's, you wanted to take baby steps, but now you're kind of like, eh, I'm not sure. Like, this looks really good to you, and you sense in your spirit that it's really good, but you're just not quite sure if you want to take the motion towards it. With the tempers and the upright, upright, you're still trying to balance and say, okay, is this the right time to move? Is this the right time to do this? Is this the right time to do that? You're very, very much in your head. Um, so let's look and see why the, the what's, what else is eliminated as far as the chariot is concerned in the upright. So let's get a little bit more information on how chariot movement is going to help Capricorn here. Why is the chariot here? In the upright, please. Yeah, because you're coming out of a time of being very closed off, very guarded. You're like, okay, I'm ready to kind of like let money like flow back out again or just let myself be vulnerable again. I'm not like this any longer. And here's really good energy for you with that Queen of Pentacles. So this forward movement is very, it's profitable. It's nurturing. It's just exactly what you want because you've taken the time to vet it fully with that Knight of Pentacles in the upright um energy and then here we have the five of cups in reverse this is no longer going to be overwhelming for you this is just a really solid move for you so this is definitely something um the forward movement and saying just committing i think that's what i hear commitment that's what the four of wands is it's commitment so commit to a direction okay commit to the direction and set your intention focus your intention on that direction okay and then shoot your arrow get moving like okay here we go could you vetted it you've properly vetted it you've properly checked it all out you've looked into it six ways to Sunday you know exactly what you need to be getting into be careful that you're not like not willing to take the plunge okay um, because this move is going to be very fulfilling it's really the start of a new fulfilling chapter in your life Completely brand new start. Completely brand new start. New, new, new cycle. The death of the old, the beginning of the new. And this is definitely answering your higher calling there. This is where, where spirit wants you is what I'm saying. So do whatever this is. Again, if this is a new job. If this is a new like industry. If you're starting your own business. If you're supposed to be moving. Um, or if this is an individual. Um, but whatever this is, it's time to do it. You've vetted it enough. You've put things into into um, place. And so now just go do. All right. Awesome. Capricorn. Hey, thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like, the subscribe, and that bell. The bell will tell you, will alert you when I am putting up new content and are going live, which I tend to do quite often these days. Um, also, all of my information to contact me for personal readings or Reiki sessions or cord cutting sessions are all down below. Email me at heartofinspiration18 at gmail.com, and I'll be more than happy to schedule something with you. All right, guys, until the next time I see you, have a fantastic week. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow and for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. Bye-bye.